and I think that I'm deputy mayor of the capital of coal regions. Rybnik uh, is a city with a number of inhabitants about 140,000 and we have two coal mines and one power plant fueled by the coal mine which will operate until 2049. I think that we are the most de uh, coal dependent place in Europe and nobody knows about it. And there are cities, they have much more diversified labor market. And there are Rybnik and surroundings, small towns like Radlin, for example, with number of inhabitants less than 20,000 of people, and the coke plant and a coal mine, which covered more than 30% of the city area. It's difficult to describe uh, that we have no challenges at the moment, uh, because the rate of unemployment in Rybnik is 2.7. It's because we have a coal mine and they will run uh, until, I think, uh, 20, 30 years. So nobody wants to think about it. So it's the biggest challenge. And uh, in my opinion, uh, the biggest mistake is that we try to uh, discuss with the coal miners how to change a job. It's a bad way because they have governmental guarantee, guarantees to work until they will, will have pensions. We should to focus on the kids. We should to focus on their children. We should try to develop entrepreneurship and, and so on. We have a plan to develop uh, hydrogen energy and we cooperate with ZEPAC, which is here too, with presentation about the hydrogen possibilities. It's one hand, but on the other hand, now we have a really big problems with the houses which are fueled by, by the coal mine. I want to ask them to support small towns uh, and to notice that there are small towns because even a just transition fund will be something like call for proposals and the biggest cities are prepared for that. I mean, Katowice, Gliwice and so on. But uh, small towns like Radlin, Redutowy, they are not prepared. One of the biggest problems is that we are losing still a YAF, a good educated YAF, because they decide to stay uh, in, the, in the places where are universities, in the biggest cities. Not only in Poland, of course, because we are, uh, we are located near the Czech border, so even Ostrava is, uh, is quite attractive for them. So uh, we want to develop office spaces and to create different kinds of businesses in Rybnik. We try to uh, discuss with the biggest companies to establish in Rybnik offices uh, for accounters, for IT and so on. And in my opinion, it's one of the main possibilities of our city.